Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Winter. If you're here for the first time, I'm glad to see you today. And if you're coming back, I'm really glad you've come back. Leave this video a thumbs up if you appreciate this kind of content and leave a comment below. That is very helpful to the algorithm. I am in my scripture writing journal that I am pushing, pushing, pushing. <laughs> I'm not a good salesman. And so I'm trying to be a better salesman. <laughs> so somebody ordered it. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I also want to show you another book that I have done. This is 75 Bible Verses on Protection. I think that this is a very timely book because we need to know that we're being protected in this hour from the enemy that is trying to make us feel like we need to go climb in a hole and hide somewhere. So I would love for you to pick this up. This will be linked below as well. You will find some typos and, and a couple of errors here and there because my editor was off the day <laughs> that I edited this book, <laughs> me being the editor. But anyway, I'll show you what the inside looks like. There's a title page and on every page there is a verse from the Bible that is on protection. So there are 75 verses that I put together so that when you need to know that you're protected, you can just pick this up and read it and it will give you comfort. I was reading it the other day and I think I pulled some verses out of this for a teaching on my scripture writing. So yeah, it's just really lovely to have it kind of compiled for you. I want to do one on healing and I've got the verses down on a document. I just need to put it into book form. So today's verse that we're doing for scripture writing is 1 Peter 2, 9. And again, this is relating to what I said yesterday about how God sees us. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession. It makes me want to cry. So that you may proclaim the praises of the one who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. What is the meaning of this verse? God's people are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a purchased people. This verse describes the church as a unique and special group distinct from the world. How do I apply this to my life? This verse shows that as a believer and owned by God, I am called to serve and proclaim his good news to the nations. We are a royal priesthood when we become a believer, and our job is to proclaim the good news to everybody and anybody that we can proclaim it to. I am so grateful and so blessed to be able to have this YouTube channel and to be able to do these daily scripture writing messages because it just is so important to me to spread God's good news. It is good news. He wants you in the kingdom. If you're not in the kingdom and you're on the fence and you just don't know if God is going to let you in, know that he loves you even in your sin. He wants you in with him. He wants to see no one perish. That's why he delays coming back because he wants as many people to be saved as absolutely possible before he returns. He is, he's granting grace and mercy every single day so that somebody new will come into the fold. And if you are a believer and you're wondering, what can I do to, to be a benefit to the Lord? Start a YouTube channel. Give your testimony. Talk about what he's done for you in your life because you have a testimony. If you are a saved individual, you have a testimony. Write a book. It's not hard to write a book. It's not hard to publish a book. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not that hard. Go out and just spread it, you know, take your Bible out on the street and read it out loud. Just anything that you can think of. If you see somebody that looks like they're in need, you know, just say hi to them and ask them how they're doing. How are you doing today? And they might just unload on you and say, you know what, my day stinks. Because <laughs> everybody's hurting on one level or another that doesn't have the Lord. And even people that do have the Lord are hurting lots of times. So, you know, that's my message today. Just get into the word, read the word, learn who God is for you. Learn how God sees you. Don't let the devil keep lying to you and telling you that you aren't worth anything because you're worth everything to God. 
I love you. God loves you. And I will see you in the next scripture writing message. Have a wonderful day, everybody.